What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you my brand new series WOL. So I'll be reviewing whatever content EA have released today. Yesterday's content was pretty good. Uh, I just had a video that was uploaded so you know by, by the time it came out the video was out at 5 so you know I, I, I couldn't really get another video out but anyhow uh, this Fabinho I think is worth it. This Foden not so much, there's just too many players like this that are similar in the cam position, but this Fabinho is ridiculous uh, value for money, so that's definitely a W, and Foden was an L, I think. Uh, but anyhow, uh, let's see what has been released for today. So we've got a Summer Heat Voting Day, a Team of the Year Challenge. Uh, is that the two players? Yeah, two, two. it's untradeable, unfortunately. Ooh. And another Best of uh, Party Bag. Is that it? Hmm... Okay, is the party bag 80 chemistry and 83 raid? Because if so, I would say that's an L. Uh, okay, is it the exact same as it was the other day? Let's have a look. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So it's still shapeshifters, headliners, or winter refresh. I was kind of hoping that they would change that and maybe put... Oh, but like a foot birthday in there just to have a chance because if you get a winter refresh regardless of who it is even Bruno now goes for under 50k because of the uh, objective Ibra much the same he, he's barely worth anything so and Ericsson now has an SBC so yeah no one in winter refresh is going to be a dub barely any in shapeshifters uh, well I suppose there's a few and then there's a few in headliners but I don't know so I, I would say the the party bag considering it's the third time they've released it and they haven't reduced the chemistry requirements which is still going to make it cost 50k if not more because of the Fabinho SBC at the minute yeah that one's an L a definite L for that one in my opinion uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, I might still end up doing it but I don't know uh, the other two were just barely worth it for me and I reckon I'm I'm due a, an L in the pack but anyhow so for an untradeable pack for this one you need a Netherlands player three leagues minimum uh, players from the same league max three which uh, it can be annoying but I mean what's the count 85 77 rated four rare players for an untradeable 35k pack I suppose it's not that unreasonable but untradeable rewards are just really really annoying especially at this time uh, in FIFA like what what's the harm like just just make it tradable like because it's untradeable I'm gonna say L because it, it'll just you know you might make your your coins back uh, theoretically like you know the chances of you getting a special card at the minute are really high so you, you probably will make well theoretical coins or you'll get like an 83 or an 84 that goes for 15k on the market or 10k or whatever so you, you might make what you put in I just hate untradeable stuff like uh, just make it tradable make it tradable right and this one I uh, I don't think came out today this might have been was this yesterday's regardless I'm, I'm gonna rate this one in this episode anyway because I didn't do yesterday's so it makes sense so 45 chemistry 79 overall three res that's a dub that's a big big dub 100% um, a W uh, prime gold players pack so chances are you'll make profit again uh, and the chemistry requirements mean you can literally use like snipe anyone on the market for 400 500 coins um, as I say this for Beanio, I know this is yesterday's content, but I might as well go through it. For an 83 and an 84 rated squad, which at the minute, pff, what's that going to cost you? Like, before all this, probably would have cost you about 70k in total. But now, because of this, it's probably about 150k. But that card is just exemplary. There's so many Premier League players that you can link him to. Um... And yeah, I mean, being Brazilian again, he's got the strong link to Fabinho, uh, sorry, to Firmino, who's there uh, long term if you want to grind for him. And his stats are just practically immaculate, especially if you play him as a CDM. Um, of course, agility and balance are a little bit low, but again, for a CDM role, he's perfect. There's, there's not too many uh, better cards than this. And for the price, definitely a big dub, but this Foden... Again, he's just not really up to scratch. I know agility, balance, stamina are 99, composure is really high, and I know they are like key stats, but there's a lot of cards that have this kind of thing. He's four star, four star, high, medium. Uh, so he'll be a perfect player for the game. I just think there's so many out there at the minute that, yeah, uh, if I, I, I don't know if you can only do one. Um, you might be able to do both, but I would certainly do the Fabinho, and I will do the Fabinho because he'll fit into my team. But the Foden, 
I'm not so keen on, uh, to be perfectly honest. Let's see if they have released another um, objective player. That would be great because I've completed all the current ones. And it doesn't look as though they have... <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah, in terms of yesterday's and today's content... Oh, oh, League One nominees. Oh, let's see. Choose who should receive... Uh, for, okay, right. So they're, they're going to give me a player pack. Yep. Right. So let's see who's going to win this one. Um, ooh. That's an interesting shout. I mean, there's a lot of Brazilians in the game already. So, you know, he's got a good chance of winning. High, medium, doesn't really really suit a CDM. But with his stats the way they are at the minute, Thiago Mendes, he's probably better as a centre mid anyway. Uh, four star, three star. Obviously, this is his 81. It'll get boosted. I'm just trying to guess. Kimbembe might be a good shout, uh, especially with that SAR SBC uh, that's out at the minute. You know, get a, a nice strong link uh, for the league uh, for League One centre back, so he, he's got a good chance. And then, I mean, we have so many right mids, and he, Balde, he, he's not too easy to link. I know League One have some decent players, but his nation is that Senegal. Yeah, Senegal. There's not too many. You could have Mane, put him in striker. Obviously, there's Kula Bale, but he's a centre back. Um, is is Gai Sen um Id Idris Agey? He might be Senegalese. Although I'm not entirely sure on that one. I know he's African, I just can't quite remember his nation. But yeah, personally I'm going to vote for... Oh, it's between Kimbembe and Thiago Mendes for me. I, I think I'll go Kimbembe. Uh, Kimbembe, I don't really need a centre-back, but, you know, uh, decent picks for me, yeah, I suppose. Instead of doing the same sort of players that, well, then again, Thiago... Mendes had a footmas card, didn't he? But anyhow, so to recap quickly, just uh, for the end, I know I haven't really done the SBCs at the minute because I did a load of upgrade packs, so I don't have things in the club. And yeah, I want to get this out ASAP. So Foden, L, in my opinion. Fabinho, win, definitely. Uh, Summer Heat voting, this one is a win, 100% tradable and 45 chemistry. Team of the Year Challenge, bit of an L, purely because of untradeable rewards. And best of for this party bag is an L, purely because 83 rate scored with 80 chemistry, going to cost you 50 plus, and about 70% of the players, if not 80, go for less, or around about 50k, and it's untradeable. So, yeah, uh, for today's content, it's an L. For yesterday's overall, it's a win. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, if you agree, disagree, and yeah, what you think of the series. Obviously, there'll be episodes where I actually do do the SBCs, um, but yeah, uh, I, it might just be best doing that. Like, I'm going to tell you what SBCs I actually do, and then maybe show you in the next episode, just to save time, really, so, you know, you're not watching me spending ages well i'm waffling now but anyhow regardless uh hope you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace